Welcome to Bedford Stuyvesant, or as most of us like to call it, Bed Stuy. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the restaurants, bars, architecture, and rich culture that makes this neighborhood so unique. Let's go. What inspired you to open an art gallery in Bed-Stuy and how have you been received by the neighborhood? What inspired me was my passion, love and appreciation for art. Tell me a little bit about the influence of art and culture in the neighborhood. Well, speaking specifically to Richard Bieber's gallery, art and culture are synonymous with each other. From the standpoint of all of the artwork in here, it depicts various aspects of everyday life in the inner city or urban environments. Uh, through the gallery, we also have a lot of art that addresses a lot of the social and political issues that are prevalent in society today. Okay. You know, so when you come in here, everything that is reflective of this community, this neighborhood, our experiences, is exactly what Richard Deacon's gallery stands for. How have the recent changes in the neighborhood affected your business experience? Uh, it's been a positive experience. Okay. As neighborhoods grow, change is inevitable. Uh, I actually get a lot of phone calls from people saying that they know we do custom framing and they really want to keep the money in the community and they want to come out and support the gallery and support the custom framing that we do. So I've definitely seen an increase in framing, uh, an increase in the interest in art. Uh, so, you know, I'm doing well. Uh, we're going to continue to grow. And as always, the community has been very supportive of the gallery. I'm vested in this community, you know, it's not just a business for me, it's also about creating jobs, uh, creating opportunity, bringing culture, and uh, making a positive impact and influence in this community that my wife and our family, we have five children, that we also call home. So you just mentioned your wife, so imagine you were taking her out on a Sunday date. Describe the ideal date in bed -Stuy. We can start off in the morning, you know, we can go to the Haitian cafe around the corner, um, you know, and get one of our favorites, which is the lemon ginger iced tea. Um, then from there, we can go down and stop off at uh, Brooklyn Swirl, which, is, which Gene is at. Uh, then we have peaches, we have beso. I mean, it's just so many different options, you know. And then just walking through the community and knowing people by name. You know, it's not just a neighborhood, it's a community where we actually support, we embrace each other, you know, children play together. So we can literally spend an entire day without having to leave outside of our community. And we're able to do that because we're so close-knit, you know, and people look out and take care of each other in that style. Exactly. <laughs>